Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll go through an exercise based on a file called Calculations Maxmin. And uh, if you haven't done this exercise already, then please give it a try. I'm going to show you how it's done now. I'm going to show you in two different ways. One that's the simplest and uh, one a bit more complex, but also much more powerful. So just click here where it says highest price. I'm going to start by typing L equals and then the formula max which is the one that picks the highest of a given range and the range I want to use this of course so I select all the prices and then end the parenthesis and I get 17,000 and again with the lowest price equals min of course first and then the range there and that gives you the minimum price 1200 the average price there's a formula for that too average there we go and here's the whole range again with the highest equals max and here we go against the mileage I'm speeding this up a little bit now but I think you're with me men and these are the mileages again and again the average Yeah, um, so that's one way of doing it. But as you see, I kept selecting these ranges all the time. So a better way of doing it, first I'm going to just undo these six things I've done here. And I'm back to square one. If I simply select these, the mileages, and give them a name by selecting up here, mileage, in the name box and just pressing enter up there, see that whole range now is called mileage. So if I go in, Click there, you see it selects the whole range. Same thing with the price. Just type and press enter. Now I've created two named ranges, and you see if I click down here and then select, I can just go straight to that named range. Very, very powerful thing to do. And I'm going to be using that a lot in future demonstrations. So now, the highest price, I can just do equals max price. Notice equals min price. I press tab there on the keyboard to type all those five letters. Saving me a lot of keystrokes here. Average price. Again, max mileage. Min mileage and again average mileage also I think makes the formula a lot easier to read the average of the mileages makes sense huh? I'm going to just fix the number formats for the mileage I like the number the comma style but I don't like the decimals on that on the price I like the dollar format let's put that in there and without the decimals again. And these, of course, should be in dollars again. Without the decimals, and these should be in the comma style. Much prettier. Thank you for watching this demonstration.